you know what time it is. Absolutely. It is time for some college bowl action. It is the end of the year. Tons of bowl games are going to be occurring soon. My favorite team, my home team, is going to the Chicken Bowl. That's the unofficial title, of course. So, what do you want to eat while watching your game or your favorite team this coming season? Well, why not have some essential beer fresh pretzels, some cheddar beer dip to go with it? How about some buzzard bites for some nice little meaty taste? Follow it up with a nice, smooth, warm, Great Father's Winter Ale. Oh yes, it is the college bowl season coming at you. Let's begin this one. Essential Brewfest Pretzels. To enter the bowl, go some warm water, sugar, salt, and yeast. The yeast has been activated, so it's time to add melted butter and flour a little bit at a time. Once the dough has become workable, I'll plop it onto the flour surface and start kneading it up. Now placing the dough into a greased bowl, covering it, letting it rise for an hour. While it's rising, I'm bringing the water to a boil, then I'll add some baking soda. I'll roll out each part into a long rope, Then I'll make a U-shape, cross the ends, and bring it back down to the bottom curve, creating a pretzel! Woo! First one ever, seriously. Gently, I'll put the pretzels into the warm water, and providing full coverage on the pretzel by dripping water over it until it puffs up a little. Now I'm carefully taking the pretzel out of the water and laying it onto a baking sheet. Where I will brush with it, brush it a little bit with a beaten egg. Now that I have all the pencils done, I'll bake them up until they brown. Now, of course, you can't have pretzels without the cheddar beer dip. Not in the World of Warcraft that I know of. So I'm going to start making a roux in the pan, beginning with the butter, and now whisking in flour. I'm adding some the ginger beer and milk to thicken up the sauce. I'm now stirring in the mustard, the garlic powder, the paprika, the Worcestershire sauce, along with some salt and pepper. And the cheese. Once it's all nice and melted, put it into a nice little bowl for dipping. On to buzzard bites. I'm combining ground turkey, breadcrumbs, pink in this case, bacon, egg, onion powder, and garlic powder, mixing it all together. Now we're going to make some golf ball sized meatballs and place them onto a baking sheet. Place them in the oven. While that's cooking, I'll be making a sauce in the pan with some apple cider, ketchup, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, nutmeg. For the next 20 or so minutes, it's going to nicely simmer. Once the sauce and meatballs are done, I'll toss the meatballs into the sauce and get them all covered. Now you can plate these any way you like, in a bowl, on a platter with two pits. I'm choosing a skewer. Great colors, winter ale. I'll be cutting up an apple in half. Pouring out the middle. 
This is more of an old school punch bowl type of drink. Get to the wife. Combining sugar and cinnamon, which we poured into the core. I am making holes into to the orange to insert the whole cloves. Placing the apples and oranges onto a baking sheet, and they will cook for 20 minutes or more in the oven. I need to make holiday spices, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, pepper. Into a large pot, I am placing low sodium beef broth. No, I'm not joking. Technically, it was supposed to be bottles of ale. Apple cider. White grape juice, something for brandy. Maple syrup. Holiday spices. And cinnamon sticks. Now it's all ready to serve. Okay, everyone, here is my grand finale of this College Bowl season bites. I mean, this is, this is awesome. This is a fun day. Those are just, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. And lots of good food. Clearly, I need to work on my pretzel making. But it tastes good. And I, it's the first bread I haven't burned in my oven. Winter. So, <laughs> this is a good day all around. Um... I do want to caveat one thing, that the winter ale is missing one thing. It's a meringue, uh, just like this, just like it was with the uh, sweet candied sweet potato. You're supposed to make a meringue with eggs, egg whites, you know, beat the gnomes, separate the eggs. Or was it? Eh, it's a difference. So, I'm just going to store this afterwards. I don't want all that foam running around. So... This is good enough for me, and meringue if you want to do it yourself, but oh my gosh, this, <laughs> this looks so freaking good. Mm -hmm. Perhaps need a little more cheese. I think, I think I skipped on the cheese, but I don't know. Very tasty. The dough was very nice and fluffy. But it's very soft on the side. So it's, this is an awesome combination, especially with the dip. Mmm. Mmm. Of course, my biggest experiment ever to drink using beef broth. Very crazy idea. Oh, yeah. That's a good hearty drink. Um, Taste, taste, of course, you can taste cinnamon through most through most anything. Pretty hard to miss cinnamon, um, especially with the amount of cinnamon we got from the apples, from the cinnamon sticks, the holiday spices. So there's a lot of cinnamon in here, but it's very tasty. You can, I can taste the clove, I can taste the nutmeg. So I can taste the juice from the grape juice, the apple juice. I don't taste much of the beef broth, but I can feel it. A little, a little heaviness, and I think that's the beef broth. Really good. You may have noticed that there's one missing already. So I've already had these, but these are freaking awesome. These buzzer bites. Such a good little bite. Uses a great amount of onion powder, garlic powder. So those are the flavors you like. Maybe cut back a little bit. But uh, the bacon and the turkey really go well together. 
It's a really awesome combination. So, cheers. This is a wonderful feast for a good old college bowl day. Okay, so I hope you like my video. Please leave a like. Please comment below as to what you enjoyed about the video. Um, please comment if you have any recipes you want me to do. And I'll look them up in the book, see if they're there. I'll let you know if I'm already planning on doing them. Or if not, I'll plan. I'll make a special segment just for that video. Or for, just for that suggestion. So let me, let me know in the comments. Again, like, comment. Please subscribe and follow me. I have Twitter, I have Facebook, whichever one you like to do. So please, follow me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, we got another college-related theme. The college playoffs. Do some, I'm doing some more snack foods. It's just going to get better. Trust me. It's, there's some good food. So, thank you. Ciao.